What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now today we are begin going to be killing rather the uh, Automaton Guardians which are found after doing World Wake's quest. Uh, they require a level of 67 Slayer to be able to kill them and obviously like I said the World Wake's plus some prerequisites that are done after. Uh, I can make a link of those in the description so if you are interested in seeing the full list I will post that down there. Now the ones I'm going to be killing are the Guardians which are weak to fire spells so I am geared up to be casting Fire Surge which uh, I would definitely recommend if you're killing these ones. Uh, I wear Void which is for my accuracy boost with a Chaotic Staff and an Arcane Stream Necklace. Also a Ring of Wealth to boost my likelihood of getting better drops, uh, Rage Fire Boots, and an uh, Supreme Runic Accuracy Aura. Now I also bring a Charming Imp with Overloads as well too so I can boost my damage a little bit more. Also the Charming Imp is clearly for the charms. So we can see how many charms we get per hour as well as what the XP rate is roughly. I also bring my little legendary pet so he can pick up the drops along the way so I'm not forced to. Uh, now to get there, after you've done the World Wakes, you will obtain the 6-8 circuit. Use the 6-8 circuit, the teleport function, and go to Guthix's Shrine. Now once I got the shrine, you have to go down towards the Guthixian High, High Druid, if I can talk properly, and teleport into the cave where all the automatons are located. Now when you come down here, there are three of them, if he would let me teleport. There are actually three uh, types of guardians, uh, rather three types of automatons. There are the melee range and mage ones, so what we are going to be doing is killing the ones that are weak to fire, which are the guardians, like I said. Uh, there's a couple of different ways that you can go about doing this. My favorite way is to actually stand right here, and you grab onto one of them, and you can safe spot them. Uh, essentially needing no prayers, but I like to throw on my little bit of my torment so I can get a little bit more damage. But here you don't need soul split. Um, without this little bit of a method of safe spotting, you can actually attack them, but most people would prefer to use a stun. Uh, obviously your impact is your stun and also your asphyxiate with magic. And uh, I'll do a kill like that real quick so you can get a quick look at what that kind of goes down like. Essentially what you want to do is grab onto him, stun him, and then kind of throw up. I like to throw up my uh, sunshine while he gets stuck in there. And then you run back a little bit more and then you just start hammering away on him. And he actually goes down rather quickly. Uh, obviously it takes a little bit more concentration to do it this way, uh, but it can be done a lot quicker. Same with when, when that one dies, you grab onto another one and cast Fixiate and now stun him again. Uh, like I said, faster kills, but you gotta pay attention a little bit more. Obviously, possibly more XP per hour as well, but uh, for this method, I'm probably gonna be doing the safe spot, just so I can get a better base uh, base XP for you guys, who probably may, who may not be as uh, familiar with the abilities and may not want to be doing that type of situation like that. Um, so we will be killing these for an hour, and I will come back with the results. Hopefully it's decent XP, and we may even possibly get a glove drop. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, well, I'm back from doing an hour of uh, killing the Automaton Guardians. What we achieved was 180,000 magic XP, and then also uh, some of the drops we actually did collect. Some of them were not collected because of due to the lack of inventory space at the beginning, obviously, and my pet derping out sometimes. Uh, but we ended up getting quite a good amount of loot. For one hour's worth, it's not the greatest, but it's not exactly the worst, considering you get in about 180k XP per hour in magic, and then also you get about 700k. Probably add another couple hundred. I'd say it's about one point. 1.1, 1.2 mil an hour in drops roughly, then you get a minus in supplies, you're looking at about a mil an hour without glove drops, plus you get some charms and whatnot, and then it's it's not that bad, it's kind of easy stuff, and you get a little bit of XP and some money, so, uh, you know, I would definitely say come down here if you have them available, you want to do a little bit of AFK magic training and such, and, uh, you know, you want to try your luck at some gloves, obviously that's what you're going for, so if you do get them, that drastically increases your uh, GP per hour. But uh, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And look out for another one probably coming in the next few days. And uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.